Okay, so we're checking out the only game where if you don't get your timing right, that means you're going to get double penetrated. It's Turbo Dismount. Nicholas rages back with a whole bunch of brand new impossible challenges. This is called the Slice and Dice. It's not as bad as all the other ones because you have to work your way up to true hell. It looks like this is all about timing. I'm not gonna lie though, hold on. Before I go with just natural speed, hold on, I just, <laughs> listen, I just need to know, okay? Just one time, I wanna make it through one of these challenges with like the shittiest vehicle there is. Oh my God! Oh yes, you gotta be kidding me. No, this might actually be possible. It's still going technically. I think it made it. Look, my card is still moving. Does it count? Look at this shit. And there's the victory. Hold on, I need, at this point, I, I, I feel like it was actually easier to have the vehicle make it to the end with something slow than fast. Technically, you're not supposed to get hit at all, okay? We're gonna do that, but I at least, the fact that we were able to do it in that sad creature is still amazing. That's right, Nick, just look at the ground. If you don't look at the pain, it won't happen. I lied, it will absolutely happen. Obviously, it's the wrong pose, that's the problem. There it is. How do your balls feel? He's like, refreshed. All right, timing's looking pretty good. Uh-huh. Okay, pretty bad. Epic dodge. Epic dodge number two. Can't get that third one in. Oh! Oh, come on! Oh, I'm still on it! Okay, now I'm not. <laughs> He's over here. He's like, super glue, bitch! Behold, the ass cam. Only squares use fast cars. Let's do this. Nice. Incredible. Oh, I almost got it! Damn it! Hold on, we can do this. Like any challenge. You know! You must approach balls first. Oh! Look at this technique. Nicholas Rage with the touchdown pass, spitting glass at your ass, dodging every single vehicle for the win in the freaking motor scooter. How do you feel? He's like, well, my balls hit the wall at 90 kilometers per hour. I feel sterile. This is called hoop de doo Apparently, since making it through one hoop after a gigantic launching jump is too easy, they made a way smaller hoop that will kill you on the way down. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I doubt we can make it, but like, we won the last one with this, so I have to give it a shot. Okay, this is not going to work. Am I allowed any kind of obstacle? Oh, I get one. You never know, maybe we can do it with a turbo pad. <laughs> I'm, I'm not using this thing in a normal way. We're doing it like this. Yeah, fire the rockets. Piss. All right, I guess we're gonna need a legitimate vehicle here. Typically when I have to go like a big distance, the quad fin fighter is the way to go just because it glides for so damn long once it launches itself in the air. Okay, it launched itself in the air and I totally missed the second hoop. All right, hold on. If I go like half as fast, maybe we can get through the second hoop. That's gonna be the pain in the ass is shooting the three through not one, but two hoops. Damn it. Okay, how about way slower? <laughs> Nick, do I have to put your ass outside of the friggin' jet? He's like, I'm sorry, Gray. Don't apologize, just friggin' do it. Okay, this is not gonna work. The shuriken isn't really my go-to for something like this, but you would figure this of all things would be appropriate for this technique. Hold on, let me, there we go. Now you do want a lot of your, a lot of your weight to be forward like this. Uh-huh. Oh no, this could possibly do it. All right, hold on. Let me, let me change my seating position. If you sit down naturally, this might actually give us a legitimate chance to do it. Look at this, it's perfect. The shuriken, oh no, it can't get there all the way. Damn it, I'm like twitching inside of the vehicle. There we go, full speed. If if we were to ever have the perfect chance of landing it, this should be it. Full speed actually screwed things up worse. All right, I'm doing it the fancy way again. Damn it, this is actually harder than it looks. All right, screw you, Shuriken. This is why no one loves you. All right, token burb. Full speed, jet's coming out of the burb's ass, and it coasts to the right. Uh, still holding on to the steering wheel. I know this seems difficult, but we're actually saving the worst for last as usual. The fact that this is giving me more trouble than the very first board is kind of scary. <gasps> yes! The friggin' boogie bus of all things! <laughs> that is unbelievable! You may have remembered in the one episode when I went through the pulsating million turbines, they're back. 
except now I have to get through them horizontally. <laughs> what the hell? It looks like there is a path right through here if we time it just right. Please tell me I can manually steer this. Thank you, Jesus. I feel like almost everything is too wide for this. I mean, I'm gonna try the wedge. I'd have to, I'd have to line up. Oh God! I was gonna, what is still happening to my body? Jesus Christ! It's like they're heat seeking balls of death. They're still beating me to pieces. Oh, God. Stop. I'm already dead. So this is actually a good opportunity to show you why you can't even touch these things in the slightest. All right, we're drifting through. I felt actually really good about this run until I hit the curb and then just disintegrated. It's like going into a black hole. I wanna try this one more time. It looks like if you hit the curb, you'll die. Mm. Oh, there goes the vehicle finally. I'm glad it got to share in some of my pain. Ow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go on through this. I was gonna say, if I can stay on the side and just not go on the roadway, maybe I would have a better time. Something low like this to the ground might actually do pretty good. It's more or less, it's just about, I was gonna say it's more about just keeping it on the ground and not letting it jump into the air. I don't know how there are, there's no physics that govern these things at all. This one I think people can't do anything worse. Ah! With wind turbines, they exceed my expectations. All right, maybe if we don't look, it'll be better, right? <sighs> maybe if I don't suck, it'll be better. Okay, ass up, right. Oh, there's no good openings right here, damn it. All right, I'm gonna wait for an opening right here. Okay, the opening's still there. We're not giving up. I'm going to get through here without getting touched. Jesus! Okay, this is not fair. Now they're all starting to just collapse to the ground. Is there like an obstacle I can put here? There's a million obstacles, but none of them's gonna help. Okay, there's an opening. There was an opening, but like the goaltender at a freaking hockey game, he puts down his stick. He's like, denied. All right. This is decently fast, but still really thin. Well, let me get an appropriate pose. All right, good. Uh, right here, right here. No, 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 no. Captain's log. Attempt number seven million. <laughs> I will make it through this map without getting touched by any of these. All right, if I, if I drive with my wiener, here we go. Thought maybe if I hug the wall. The problem is the openings don't last. See, like there's an opening right now on the right, but now it's gone. Ah, Nicholas is over here. He's like, I want a divorce. <laughs> I mean, you never know, right? You can't get much smaller than this. So if I was to squeeze through here somehow, uh, ah! this is like my lucky pose, okay? Uh. They're all over the ground right now. Banking to the right. I had a 50-50. <laughs> it's a home run. When you get a C plus on your math test. You're out of the family. Look, I don't know, all right? You never know. Okay, now I know. I remember when we did beat this, we did it with a skateboard. Oh, there's an opening. Okay, there was an opening. There might still be an opening. Anyway, in the last episode, when we beat the, the pit full of these, it was with a skateboard. My testis is like, don't do this to us. Okay, so on the skateboard, you actually have to stay on the roadway. Uh, I'm <gasps> oh no, I almost made it. You gotta be kidding me. All right, there was an opening to the left. It is gone now, but I'm gonna pretend maybe I can. <sighs> okay, the skateboard's not gonna do it, man. Don't let me down, shopping cart. I guess if you're gonna let me down, you're gonna let me down softly because it takes a long. <gasps> I can get there. No! It's like the game heard me. I just need to get. <sighs> I just need to not feel what it's like to stand on the surface of the sun. At least, <laughs> I was gonna say, at least my body didn't get torn apart. Okay, full speed. I mean, full speed in a, in a shopping cart, so, you know. Ah, uh, this isn't looking good. Oh, oh, epic dodge! Oh my God, oh my God. My body was ping-ponged. I've got one last idea. I hate to use it, but 
maybe it will finally not let me down. Okay, I'm gonna try speed first. Again, normally the shuriken lets me down every time I use it, but I'd like to think that if it was, if it was made for a board, this would be it! Oh my god! Victory lap, bitch! Real quick, I just have to show you what would happen if I touched one of those things with this vehicle. Okay, real quick, hold on. I, I have to stop this real quick. The Shuriken has never done anything good. I cannot believe this worked. Nicholas Rage, normal, buckled down position. One single opening at just the right time. Look at how close he came to repeated imminent death. Is If his head would have touched that, it's like six inches of clearance. He would have just completely evaporated. And the full spin out for the win. You may have remembered the blender. The blender got 100 times worse. Look at this shit. You have to get through here without your body hitting any of the propellers and then fall into hell. Since the shuriken did so well, I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, shuriken off the backboard. Okay, okay. Okay, that's gonna be the problem. Oh God. Man, I missed the hole. Okay, I can already tell. We need something way slower. This is a level now where I can't ricochet off the background because if I ricochet off the background, we're gonna get hit by the propellers that are sitting horizontally instead of the ones that are like, you know, these ones here we can get through. The problem is the ones down here. Okay, nice. Now, we got friggin' hammered by the next set. You ever heard of a slow death? That's what's happening here. This way, we should just barely fall off the front of the board and hopefully get down past all of the wind turbines. Oh, it's so far away that you can't do it slow. You can't even cheat it. One third of the way, let's try this. No circumcisions today. Okay. Oh, I actually landed on it. Ow. Oh God. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to do manual steering for this. All right, I think the idea is maybe to go down like all the way on the corner if we can, like right over here. Yeah, here we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Damn it. I'm gonna try and do a hard turn. There we go, that's perfect. That's what I wanted. God damn it. It's like the problem is we're not actually falling fast enough. Okay. Uh-huh. It's, it's gonna be that one right there. Give me the throne. You're fired. Nice. Yes. Ouch. Satan, I'm coming for my vacation. <laughs> Damn it, I tried to fall off and I couldn't even do that. I love how even Satan's like, not today, Gray. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. That's a good fall. That's fast. Oh yeah. Oh, we ricocheted off the wall. Yes. Go inside, go inside, go inside. Yes. Oh, Jesus. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's going deep inside of holes. All right, ricochet off like this. This was like perfect. And if you go head first like that, you fall faster. Hold on, what did that hit? Did that hit this or did that hit the body? Oh, that's weird. It didn't, it didn't actually hit anything. Oh, it hit the wall. Okay, that's fine then. Through all these, epic dodge between these two. Oh my God. And then straight down the pipe. With, you know, a little bit of paralysis first. I told you I was saving the worst for last. This is the world's first downward Frogger. It is Frogger with all these lanes of traffic downhill. Do I get any obstacles? The answer is no. I mean, you gotta start somewhere. So I'm just gonna give it a shot. You never know. I kind of wish I, oh my God, look at the tsunami of cars. This one might legitimately be possible. I have no idea how I'm gonna make it past this. Okay. All right, how about if I just use something fast? Can you even ramp off? No, you can't ramp off of this stuff like that. Uh, Maybe with the big tires. Oh, okay. Okay, lands it. 
No, 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 keep going, keep going. God damn it. This probably has the absolute best chance because the big tires allow it to land. It's just a matter of landing back on here. Hold on, can I manually control this? Okay, I have an idea. Go slow, turn hard to the left. Oh God. The second you get hit though, it stops the game. Here we go. Here we go. I just gotta land it. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. This is totally possible. Yes, yes. Oh my God. No. Now this is a tense situation. Look at this. If you time it just right, you can actually ramp off of the cars. I might be able to ride these cars down to the bottom. It's just a matter of eventually landing it correctly. I might have to bring out the controller for this. All right, controller time. Now I get to control the wheels before I even start. Let's do this. Um, <laughs> Where the hell did that car come from? What the crap? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, lands it. It's the second portion. So the key here is going about half speed. If you do that, you can land it. Yes. Yes. I can't see sh triple axle. Make the bad man stop. Oh my God, this level is insane. The chosen one lands it. God damn it. Behold. The meat eating of a lifetime. Ow. Let this end. Oh, this is the farthest I've gotten. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Yes, and it's still going all the way to the end. <laughs> uh. So what I found was that if you allow the vehicles to get going their fastest maximum speed, you can ramp off the first set of vehicles. That destroys a whole slew of them. Then you need to stick the landing. Like so, then it's actually possible to ramp over this insanity. And after doing a barrel roll, we get to the end, stick the landing, and the vehicle still works. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Turbo Dismount. <laughs> Until the next time, <laughs> stay foxy and much love.